What's up, people? It's your boy MM2K back again with another quick hit video I'm recording on my phone. So bear with me if the quality isn't the greatest. But as you all know, I haven't been able to create content this week because I've been jumping here and going here to different appointments with family members. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your continued support. Hopefully we'll be back on track next week. With that said, Xbox tax. Let's talk about it. Um, for those of you that have been able to see what I've been putting on social media, y'all know that I don't subscribe to this notion that there's an Xbox tax. Um, I think what's actually going on, and I'm going to try this in a way just a little bit more sympathetic to my Xbox brethren. I'm not going to call you zealots or fanboys or whatever this time around. I'm not going to sit there and be dismissive. I'm, I actually think that there is a wing of you that honestly believe this, but I think you're ignoring some sub, some subconscious facts that we've already dealt with and i'm going to try to hopefully break you out of your psychosis and you know and help you realize why this is a farce okay um i think what actually is going on is that there has been this long-standing belief and i've been there too because i am a self i was a former self-described xbox fanboy um enthusiast i was out there battling people all over youtube that's how i got my start on youtube as the xbox fanboy with the medicine you know what i'm saying dropping these doses on you and all the other stuff on the ponies um there was this belief especially back then that playstation games were overrated because they were interactive movie experiences looked great had great cinema to them storytelling but they were crappy in your gameplay and their level design the ai all that stuff and that's a belief that i still hold to this day i do think that there's just a sector of the gaming community that's more inclined and more disposed to storytelling and stuff like that more than they are actual gameplay you know as long as it's interactive and smooth enough to coincide with the storytelling that's good enough for them I am of a different ilk, gameplay, AI, level design. It's more important to me than story. And I think Xbox spoke to that gamer that is like me, where gameplay was at the core of the experience. Um, everything else around it was just additive. You know what I mean? They just they, they were just cherries on top, right? And because of that, we've always argued like, oh man, these PlayStation games aren't really that great, but they're, they're getting these accolades or whatever. And we would look at our experiences that had more focused on gameplay. And we felt like that the gameplay part was getting slighted. So I understand that, but I'm here to tell you that's an old debate. It's an old notion. It no longer applies. So therefore now it's a farce because here's what's happening. And I discovered this with God of War 2018. If y'all remember, y'all been following my content long enough with God of War 2018. What I did is I went and I rented a PlayStation 4 because I was going to pull the stunt. I was going to show on behalf of my Xbox brethren. Look, you don't really need a PlayStation. Their games are overhyped. Their cinematic experiences you can beat in a couple of days. And I'm going to send this damn thing back. You know what I'm saying? And be done with God of War and never be the wiser. Right. And. I ended up keeping that thing for play, <laughs> the PlayStation 4 for four months, right? Not because it took me four, it takes you four months to be God of War, but because the gameplay was actually so engrossing and 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 so enjoyable that I, in between me playing a whole bunch of other stuff that was coming out at that time, I wanted to finish that story and I did. It's on my YouTube channel. I needed to finish that story. That's how great that game was. And it was the best PlayStation game I've ever played at that point in time um, when I got when I did that. And then I started to notice that all the subsequent PlayStation games after that, the gameplay was getting better. AI was better. Level design was better. It was, it, it was just unbelievable to where I started noticing that, hold on, the Xbox games are still relying on the same formula. They're not evolving. The PlayStation games are. So with that said, I think what's going on is my brothers and sisters on the Xbox side that prescribe to the Xbox tax, you're using the Xbox tax quote unquote dressing to mask this actual real life subconscious feeling. 
Look, maybe our games aren't super in, you know, super innovative. Maybe they aren't breaking the mold like they used to anymore. But their games are just cinematic experiences. Why are you praising their games for just being cinematic, interactive movies when our games have all these large world exploration, even if it's mundane, even if it's the same formula, even if we're not breaking the mold, there's something special about this too, to a certain degree, even if the overall experience is mediocre because their overall experience is mediocre because even though the cinematics are great, the gameplay sucks, right? And I'm here to tell you that is no more. PlayStation games have matured. They have maintained that cinematic experience that other people cherish. You know, not so much me. They've they've maintained that and now they've matured on the gameplay aspects, the AI. You know what I'm saying? The level design, the, just the gameplay loop. They have gotten so much better. God of War 2018, Ghost of Tsushima, Horizon Forbidden West, Spider-Man 2. You may think I'm capping, right? Because I want to belong somewhere. All right, fine. Here's what I say to you. Take the challenge. Take the MM2K 2018 challenge. I want you to go and rent a PlayStation. Go rent a PlayStation 5. Pick up those same games. Pick up God of War Ragnarok. Pick up Horizon Forbidden West. Um, pick up Ghost of Tsushima, even though it's the PlayStation 4 version. Pick those games up and play them. And tell me if you'll take your PlayStation back in a week. I guarantee you, you won't. Don't listen to the zealots that are out here that ha that are being incentivized to lie to you to make it seem like PlayStation games are still of that e a mediocre brass as far as the gameplay is concerned. I'm here to tell you as a former Xbox fanboy, check the channel if you don't believe me, things have changed. You'll see where I started changing course after 2018 God of War. All right? So hopefully that shines a light of what's going on that breaks my Xbox brethren out of its psychosis. I won't hold my breath on it though. But again, you guys are trying to use this Xbox tax as a mask to cover up the fact that you're looking at your mediocrity and you're thinking that, the, that a, a different variation of mediocrity is still across the street. No, you're still dealing in, in mediocrity where they've all around enhanced what they present and that's why as of today their games deserve the accolades and unfortunately what xbox is putting out there just doesn't it, ha it has to get better that's where you guys need to be fighting the fight should be taken to sarah bond and particularly phil spencer and matt booty and say we need better quality games we appreciate game pass being a value to us or you know allowing you to play games at a much more reasonable uh, financial bearing, but we need quality in here. We need quality in here specifically for us. We're not just gonna settle for what's out there in the streets with ABK. Everybody's gonna be playing Call of Duty. Everybody's gonna be playing Diablo. Everybody's gonna be playing Overwatch. We want something specific to us that you can only get based off of the dedication to the platform that we've been given. Just like they're getting that over there, we deserve it over here. Those are the conversations to be had. Not no conversations that are wasting time talking about an Xbox tax. With that said, that's it from your boy. I appreciate y'all support. Hopefully we're back on track next week. And if you wanna follow my content, definitely check out the links I'm gonna leave here to the Geeks Discord. That's our new gamer group where we talk about gaming, we debate gaming, we play game, we play game. I mean, this is a whole gamer thing going on over there, definitely. And everybody's welcome, regardless of what your favorite brand is, platform, all this stuff. Everybody's welcome, all right? With that said, appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all for coming through. Till next time. Have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.